Welcome to a Brawl modding tutorial. We're doing CSP hacking, which is character selection portrait. And a lot of people didn't know that that's actually what it's called. But like when you're in the character selection screen and you're going to go choose a character, that's what you see. So there's actually a bunch of ways you can do this. Just like most uh, texture modding, it really depends on your skill level with editing software. So we're going to focus on really the raw basics instead of making a tutorial on how to make it look really nice. We'll just teach you how to do it. You can get better with it as you go on. So the program we use is not Ash, it's not Stash, it's Cup Ash. So this is on my rapid share and we'll probably, I'll add it to media fire once I figure out how to get that working. But um, this is the actual folder that will be on there and what I'll have the link in the description, but you'll download this. And what's great about what I did is I added the files that you actually need. And when you download this, you actually miss NT compress and text EXE or something like that. Uh, when I was starting out with this, people told me I had to have it in my C drive, like on the root of your main hard drive. I'm not sure if that's true. So when you extract that, this is what you'll have. Another great thing I did was I have the, uh, all the files already started. So you don't need to do step one, extract. That's already been done for you. If you want to do it again, sure, but it's going to take a long time, probably about five minutes. So I recommend not doing it. All the files are already set up. Don't even look at them. It's good. What you need to know, templates, these are where all the uh, actual pictures are. So if you looked at this one, it would be the fourth color of Ivysaur. If you looked at this one, it would be the second color of Lucario. That's the templates, what you will be editing. New files is where you're going to put your new files. I only have one that I've got to work. It's like a cow tune link. Uh, we'll talk about these later. So let's just get started right away. Before anyone does some kind of thing where they ask me what this can be actually used with, I'm going to tell you use Photoshop because it's the best for editing photos. But if you don't have it, I've heard that there's a program called GIMP. I've never used GIMP, but I guess people are recommending it, so perhaps it's free, who knows. So yeah, um, open up Ganondorf2 underscore big, because we like Ganondorf. He's got like his white little stash. Now what a lot of you are probably wanting is you've made a, uh, a texture hack and now you want to actually see that in your game. Well, there's a bunch of ways to do this, but the easiest way, and this is just if people want to edit this, I really don't want to, in this basic tutorial, go into exactly all of that detail. What I want to do is I just want to show you how to edit this and it will be nice clean and it'll be good. So uh, get your selection tool and copy this. Control copy and then you'll need to file new. It's going to be the right size. Okay. Uh, right click layer from background. I don't know how this works in other programs. This is just how it works here. Then select everything here and delete it. That makes it invisible. Uh, then what we need to do is make, sorry, we need to put our guy here, which would be control V. So now he's here and zoom in on this pixelated image, get your magic wand and get rid of all of that uh, blackness that's around him the evil of his soul, and press delete. That will make it invisible. Bill. And this is good. And you're wondering, why did we make a new thing? I don't know. I just felt like it. So let's say you want his cape. Let's say you want his gem thing on his forehead to be uh, bright green. Remember, you can edit this however you want. I'm not here to tell you what you can and can't do. I'm here to show you that it's possible. 
and to not be afraid to try this because it's really a lot of fun. So let's make this a shiny green. Give him some super eyes, maybe a big time smiley face, and some kind of thing right there. Alright, so when we look at that from far away, looks pretty scary. So what we now need to do is come here, and this is what I should have done before, but now you go to image mode, index color, and you look at this, its palette is local perceptual, colors, the number of colors this image actually has is 240. Good. I saw it and it was good. So now you go to image mode, index color, and we need to make sure that this one is also 240, which it is. That is also good. We hit OK, break, I don't remember where I left off, I'm going to try. And what we're going to do now is image, mode, oh right, we just indexed the color. So, now go to color table, and this is important, what we need to do is find, uh, oops, sorry, what we have to do now is because we indexed it, now we have to delete all of this whiteness, the white of his soul. You know what we could do? This would be actually a lot easier. Uh, with all the white selected by using the magic wand, Brawl, as we know from our other texture editing things, interprets magenta, which is color red 255, green 0, blue 255, as invisible or invisible. So now that that is that, that is that. Done. Okay, so file, uh, maybe image mode, looks all good. Maybe you want to do, just make sure that it's actually done. You can file, save as, I'll save it somewhere simple, like the desktop, and we go Ganon 2 underscore big. And we save it as Targa, Targa Targa. And we close this down. Oh, it's Ganondorf. So before you do anything, right click on here, rename Dorf, because he is quite the Ganondorf. And just for safety, make sure it's not capitalized, underscore big, underscore big. Now we don't actually put it over the templates. We go to the folder, new files. So we put the new file in there. Done. Now what we do is we go back. Once you have your new file in there, you go to step two, create. Click on that. Uh, it's a, it will say, please wait, creating files. Okay, that means it finished. I'm probably cut that out. Go to new files. Now these three things I said we'll talk about later, these are the actual files you need to put on your SD card. All three of them. SD card, private, we, app, <laughs> RSBE, PF. Right here, I've already done it. You might not have it. I'm not sure if the latest version of Brawl Plus, which I highly recommend, has these folders, but just on your new files folder, select them all, right click, drag them over, copy here. It'll say, do you want to merge these folders? Click do this for all current items. Yes, um, what you want to do is replace all of those folders and files. So copy and replace. Okay, now the files are in there. And then IPF uh, system, system files, sorry. Delete this, common 5.back, delete it. Right click on common 5 underscore en dot pack and get rid of the underscore en. Common5.pack is all you should have in there. You are now done. Your SD card is finished. And uh, look forward to the advanced CSP editing tutorial where I'll show you how to take one of your textures that you've made and actually put it into your own CSP. So I hope you enjoyed this and 
learn some stuff, check out the description.